Hello and welcome to a short evening fishing. A fly that is working really well for me lately is this Mulkis. And I'm also using a predator dubbing bait fish in a copper color. And we have some stunning conditions right here. It's really nice. Some cloudy sky, wind from the south, and for being in winter, I mean six, seven plus degrees. Oof. It feels like it's big fish hour. <laughs> it's about time. And we have about three hours of sunshine left or daylight at all. It's not much sunlight. We better make the most of it. I'm gonna cover a large body of water here. I'm not gonna be hammering too much in one place and hope for a big silver. That's the idea. Begin as always to fish close to me. Um, I walked out quite some bit, maybe 15 meters from the shore, which is unusual for being me, but there's really no rocks or any structure where I walked out, so I decided to begin here. So I do like a sun tether of different paths into different directions here around the rocks. That's the beginning. Let's see what you're up to. It's definitely in the brightest time of day now, which is kind of depressing that it's, it's dark still. But um, that tells me that they could be a little bit further out, further out there, because it's not very, very dark at the moment. There is quite some light. That could mean that they are maybe not inside this uh, like needy water at the moment. Maybe they are a little bit further out. There is a limited time and I'm all alone so it's uh, I can just assume what they're up to and make a plan according to it. It's the depth that I believe in the most. And hopefully it pays off. What is up with these small ones? <laughs> Look at this tiny one, it's like a herring. <laughs> Seems to all be like handle size or so. <laughs> well, I'm reacting a little bit strange because yesterday I caught two small ones as well, just in the same like handle length uh, fish. So I'm hoping there is we're not in like a period with only baby fish. Hope for some bigger ones as well. But it's good for the future. There is a next generation for sure. And when they are in that size in the sea, you know it. They grow very very fast. So promising. And this predator dubbing bait fish in the copper color it's casting along the rocks here parallel to me and I'm standing in way less than needed here is my need. way less than needed water so no need to walk deep definitely not the big ones are also cruising in this kind of depth
There it is. For sure, a better fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think it took the mulkis. The other fly. Strong, strong silver. Whoa, 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 so fast. Okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to run my leg. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Typical behavior of a rainbow. I haven't seen it clearly. Could be a rainbow. Where's the sea trout? I'm trying to beach this one, I think. We're so close to the shoreline here now, so I'm backing up a little bit, getting a nice angle on it. When there's not much stones, it's a great option to do this. Just to back up, get it on the shoreline. The sea trout it doesn't want to come over to its side. There you go. Wow, what a tank! What a tank! Look at that! Woohoo! <laughs> We're moving it to the fly and put it in the net. It's too shallow here. What a sea trout this is! Look at this! Wow! Winter dream accomplished! Wow! Wow, this is what winter fishing truly is about. Going, casting in very shallow water along you, not like casting out even, I'm casting parallel to me. And the fish, all the fish are in there. The small ones, the big ones. As you see, there was like pretty much the same spot. I'm gonna of course go out there again, and give it a go. I'm gonna go a little bit reversed here. But what an incredible fight. And such a thick and compact fish. Really happy about that one. Ooh. Oh wow. I talked about during the fight that it almost behaved like a rainbow trout. One thing I recognize from being hooked up, into, hooked up into a rainbow is that they fish towards or they swim towards me. Like this one did. But uh, no, it proved to be a sea trout. Great fighter. Awesome experience. Whew. Get back out there. Okay, I know I did one mistake now when I began casting again. I did not check the sharpness of the hook. Especially if you get a fish on the dropper fly. You need to look at the leader and the bottom fly so it's still sharp. It could be I've been snagged in the bottom a couple of times without you noticing at all. Sometimes when I get a fish on the dropper fly, the uh, lower fly is lost because it got stuck in the bottom and I don't even notice. I'm busy fighting the fish and they just snagged up somewhere. Yeah, and it's not very sharp. I'm taking the hook sharpener. Holding the hook firmly. And then you... Sharpen in one direction. Maybe from another angle. But don't do too much. You don't have to make like a. They say you do like you're just supposed to do a triangle, but then you sharpen quite a lot. It's, uh, if you get good in sharpening from just sharpening in one direction, it wears down the fly less. So you can use the hook slate. You can use your flies for a longer time. So 
the goal is to get the sharp hook that's it so you can check during the sharpening you sharpen a little bit you check how it feels sharpen a little bit more check how it feels uh, but it's a good idea to just sharpen on one angle and then if that doesn't help you sharpen from another angle so you don't try to make a circular shape a point shape it's gonna be more difficult to get sharp all right i guess that's it we've been fishing quite a lot in the same area but here there aren't the same like waves splashing at rocks anymore there was like a hot spot perhaps i'll try again later or so but i think that's been it for this video uh, what you should do now is that you should check out the catch and tie video that i made of this predator dubbing bait fish and you should keep in mind how crazy shallow sea trout live and that there's no difference in where the small ones and the big ones live they're all in this shallow water especially the colder the water is the more important this shallow zone is hope you enjoy this one more to come